I just want to squeeze through the gate. Nope. Not gonna fit. Why not? I have a really high deck score. And you have a really big body. Well, then I'm just gonna walk around the gate. No. You can't. There's walls. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk around. What? What walls? It literally implies that there's a wall there. There's no tile. Whatever, man. I don't see why. There's no walls there. The walls, man, they're implied. Where, where there's no tiles, it implies that there's a wall. It's not like, I just can't go around. Whatever, dude, I'll just, whatever. I'm gonna go play Warhammer. Oh no, my goodness. So we're going to start with taking our tiles from the last episode. These will become the simplest walls you've ever had to construct because they're already built. Now, I'm going to use the American Penny uh, to put my, my cuts in, but whatever medium you're going to use, uh, you don't want to go much further than you have to. So I measured out the width of my blade against the American Penny. Half of this will be submerged um, and the other half won't. But the, the deepest I'll ever go will be uh, the length of the American Quarter and you're gonna see that in a little bit which is a little bit deeper. Um, so I insert my my Penny Half of it submerged. Replicate the same thing on the other side. And once again, I'm using nice, easy, clean cuts with a very sharp, brand new cutting knife. Here's my penny. We're gonna slap it down on top of one of my other tiles and voila, you now have a wall. And we didn't even have to make anything new. Now, of course, you should feel free to make custom walls and stuff if you wish. But if not, just make a bunch of tiles. Tiles, tiles, tiles. And then you have tiles for floors and walls. I have different um, size pieces of the floor that you could use for different heights of a wall. If you need a very big opposing scene where you have like you know the the demon lord and an altar um in front of a wall you'd want probably a higher wall that way it's got a more ominous look to it so you could use a bigger tile and once again they all hold in place with the foam and and i'm using the american currency but whatever you have that you wish to use so let's put some tiles on the table and see what this will look like all right, so here we're starting with our two three by threes. I'm going to use quarters because I want to put the quarters on the outside of my tiles. So I'm gonna border my existing tiles with, uh, with walls. And the reason I'm using the quarter is because they stand up taller than the pennies or the dimes and, st and stuff like that. So I can plop my quarters in to my mat, put my walls down on top, and there you go. Instantly I have a two inch wall. Now, see I still have room for my one inch miniatures. Let's go ahead and add some more tiles. Here's our makeshift wall in the middle of a dungeon. So you don't want tall walls uh, everywhere because then it's harder to reach your minis and stuff like that. 
So my in, inner interior walls, I represent with just a one inch wall. Now, again, it's a usable piece as a tile system or your wall. So you can always take it, move it back out onto the grid. Now let's take our two inch wall out and we can also convert this to a hallway. So this is terrific for on the fly dungeon creating because um, everything's available. You don't need special pieces. Everything is mix and match and it fits. Hope you enjoyed.